Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, this is Genshin related, so we're not switching to a different category. So, give me a second here. Okay, okay. All right, I've never watched it live before. This usually never happens, so here we go. Okay, okay. <gasps> okay. Let's see. It's so pretty! <gasps> Look at the town! It's so pretty. I love the music. Shumi is a great place to live. The government's various things are now being used by the Jiaoling Yuan. As the police report in the Dao Qi Pian, the knowledge of Shumi is a resource for the government. 而用来实现这一点的是由神之心所运作的，由前代草神大慈树王所留下的一个名为虚空的系统。还有一个很有趣的点是，在虚弥，大部分的人们，尤其是成年人，似乎都是不会做梦的，所以也有了“虚弥人不会做梦”这样的说法。而当地人也会认为这是一种理性与智慧的象征，而非常自豪。须弥森林恰到好处的湿度和土壤，非常适合训练的繁衍。为了增加繁衍和保护菌群的能力，训练发生了进化，形成了一个全新的物种——驯兽。最高级的驯兽，同时进化出了很强的动物性，具有领地意识和不弱的攻击性。丛林中也栖息着各种各样的动物，其中也有不少神奇的生物。在虚弥，我们还会遇见一个新的势力——驻京旅团。他们是来自沙漠古文明的移民，不加入任何国家势力，而是以自己的智慧和力量讨生活。比如说，雇佣兵在丛林之外的广袤沙漠中，同样也埋着许多过去的伤痕和遗产。有守卫着那些被黄沙淹没的古代秘密的超文明机器，也有受到这些生物影响而异化的凶猛野兽。主角在须弥的旅行，同样会邂逅各种各样的伙伴。作为智慧之国，学者型的角色当然是必不可少的。比如，作为生论派的学者，如今正在担任巡灵官的提纳鲁，在奥摩斯港邂逅，出身教练之路派。Who is that man? 此外，其他各种系列的角色也会与主角产生交集。No, I need to see his face again. I need to see the man's face. 教灵院之论派的艾尔海森。Okay, he looks kind of cool. Okay, he, his hair with the kind of green color reminds me of like a sexier version of Danny Phantom. <laughs> Because he wore black and he has the gray hair, and Danny had like the green ghost vibe, and he's got green. Sorry, he looks like an older, sexier Danny Phantom, or Danny Fenton, or whatever. Oh my God! That's what I thought of when I saw him. Anyway. Sun. <laughs> 此外，其他各方势力的角色也会与主角产生交集。比如，作为沙漠子民，隶属驻军旅团的雇佣兵迪西亚。Okay, she looks amazing. I keep pausing. I'm sorry. She 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 a cat? No, she she wearing cat ear things. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! She looks awesome. Wait, she, is she? I think she's um. Oh God, what fire? Um, pyro. I was gonna. I was. Gonna, I was like, what's the word for fire? She looks like a pyro vision. I mean, she's wearing. Fr yeah, that, there we go. Confirm pyro vision. There we go. Right there. Okay. I. I was like, where's her vision? She looks so cool. I love her dyed hair. Oh my god, guys! There's too many characters that I'm already falling in love with, and I'm like, I don't know when these guys are becoming available. Also, I love her eye color. Like, what's going on with her? I look like she looks like she has cat eyes. Honestly, <laughs> I'm like freaking out. I'm probably gonna have to watch this again without having to read what they're saying just to look at the background. God, I'm literally freaking out. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. 还有独辟蹊径，在须弥这样的智慧与理性的国度追求艺术和。She looks like um a, a a more like church kind of out like not church um oh god uh belly dancer version of um Kukomi. A 舞蹈的一路，而随着旅行的继续，神秘少女那些。She's so cute too, guys. There's too many. Wait, hold on. I have to go back and look at her again. Yeah, she has horns. She kind of has the same similar horns as Ganyu, but it also looks like a headdress. 
I don't know. <laughs> Guys, what? There's too much going on. <laughs> I wasn't expecting these many characters to be like, oh, here you go. Okay, we're gonna go to the, ch the, the child now. Okay, she's adorable. She she looks like another Klee because of her ears, like an like a a, a dendro version of her, and but with like. Yeah, she kind of gives me Klee vibes. I don't know if she's going to act like Klee. Definitely Archon. Oh, the mysterious will not hit up. Oh, I could see that. If she's the Archon, I would. I guess I would have never expected the Archon to look so young. Like, the childish look. But, I mean, I feel like, like, forest vibes could also be that. Anyway, I don't think she's the Archon. Okay. I mean, again, it would be an interesting, like, if she was... It would be interesting because, you know, I think Forrest and all that. Oh my god, who's that? Oh wait, that's him! Wait, isn't this the one that you like, Pyro, from the manga? What's his name? General Maha Mahamatra? I don't know what his vision is, I can't see it. But he looks so cool too! Okay, you know what I noticed? I tend to like the ones that have like some animal-eared hairdress. I'm noticing this trend. That the ones I like the most have the ears. Uh, Pyro Lady, him, the the Forest Watcher guy with the ears. Yes, Anubis style. Sino, is that his name? Or is it, I don't think it's with, I don't, yeah, it's Sino. Okay, so this is the Archon. I guess we're going to see the Archon in the next episode. I can't. I can't. Okay, we're, I, I kind of need to watch it again, I'm not gonna lie, because I want to look at the background. Okay, I want to look at the Shroomies again. Look at the- I love that the, it's like a, an evolution of like baby Shroomy, adult Shroomy. I love- oh my god, I love the Shrooms. And the freaking bird. It just looks so cool. It also, you know what it reminds me of? I feel like we saw something similar. I thought we had some kind of bird thing that looks similar in Genshin, but maybe not. But it does, they, it does look like a Pokemon, that's for sure. I love this creature. Oh my god, this next scene, sorry, that creature, this leopard or whatever animal this is. Mountain lion, whatever. I, I can't, I don't know what combination of animals it is. But anyway, this, this stuff kind of reminds me of Avatar the Blue People. You know, like when they would attach whatever thing with their hair. Anyway, that's also what my name I loved this. I loved the moss pigs. Can I have moss pigs in my staring teapot? Because that's all I want. God, I... Okay, so now I'm wondering, do you still think he's a five-star pyro? Or do we still think he's a four... Or, or do we... Are we or is the consensus, consensus more of a four-star? Because I, I feel like now seeing the other characters, I can see him being a four-star. But, I mean, he could all, uh, he could also be a five-star. But I guess, I don't know. I feel like compared to that guy with the gray hair and the chick with the the with the metal arm, I feel like he could be a four-star in comparison to those. But I don't know. I also like him because of his cape. I think, it, I, I think like, I like the back of him more than the front of him. I think it's mostly- I don't know. I don't know if I dig his face. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I'm kind of, like, mixed with his face. But he also gives me Dainsley vibes. But yeah, I, I, I think it's just, like, I dig the capes. And he has a fucking cape thing. Jacket, whatever. And I like it. God, I love her so much. She- I think so far she is my favorite. I think in terms of design, I would say so far she's my favorite. Then it's, um, Cat Guy, Forest Watcher, I forget his name already, and Sino. Damn, that's awesome. Okay, that's the end. All right, let me switch back to Genshin now. <laughs> I loved it. Oh my goodness.